Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another week of virtual Bible lessons for you. I'm excited to be back and be able to share with you the next part of the story. So last week, uh, we started our new series called Unstuck, right? Because life sometimes is sticky and we get caught in sticky situations, but we need to be filled with determination. Do you guys remember what determination stands for? See if you can remember between your family right now. I'll give you a second. Any of you guys get it? Remember, determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you've started. So we have to be determined when we are in sticky situations that we are going to make it through to whatever is next. All right. And God is going to help us along the way. That's the whole point of this is knowing that God is there for us every step. And today we're going to learn a little bit more about what that means. So last week when we left off, Jesus had just given his final commands to his disciples, and then he had left them, he ascended into heaven, and now they were kind of on their own to figure out what was coming next. And remember, he gave them a bunch of tools to use, but there was one thing he said he was coming that they didn't quite know what it meant yet, and that was the Holy Spirit. So this week we're going to learn exactly what the Holy Spirit means and how it came to the disciples and the other believers that he had, been, uh, had come along as well. So once Jesus left, they started a big feast. It's called Pentecost. They celebrated it every single year, uh, and it was something that they really looked forward to. While they were at this feast, there was a big, loud wind that came through, and it, it was just a huge sound that came out. And then there was fire that appeared, and it looked like tongues. How cool is that? Fire that looked like tongues that came out of nowhere, and then the fire rested on the believers. So just think about that image for a second. You're sitting there, you're having your meal. It's like Thanksgiving for you where you're, you're just eating and eating and eating and eating and having a great time. And all of a sudden there's big wind and fire and it looks like tongues and all of a sudden they come back to you. Ah! It's a little scary, right? But this was the Holy Spirit coming to rest on them. And what happens next is even cooler. Each one of them was able to then speak a language that they didn't know before. Have you tried learning a different language yet? I took a lot of school to learn Spanish and I know almost none of it. I took six years of Spanish, and I'm still terrible at it. Maybe you can relate, maybe you, or maybe you're even better than me, maybe you know a second language, but it's one that you learned. Well, the disciples went through, and they actually were just received the Holy Spirit, which allowed them to speak languages they had never spoken before. So they were able to communicate with people no matter what language they heard. It made God's message that much more effective for everybody. So after this, uh, people really started responding and saying, well, this is really weird. And actually, we have some Bible verses here that show exactly how the people responded. So we see in Acts 2, verse 7, it says, The crowd was really amazed. They asked, aren't all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then why do, they each, then why do we each hear them speaking in our own native language? They asked one another, what does this mean? So each one of them, even though uh, the disciples were speaking one language, each one of them heard it in a different language, so that no matter how they spoke, they were understood. That's the power that God used right there. So when people gathered around Peter, one of the disciples said, you know what, let me explain a little bit about what's happening, since we have this opportunity now. And he said this, fellow Israelites, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth was a man who had God's approval. God did miracles, wonders, and signs among you through Jesus. You yourselves know this. Long ago, God planned that Jesus would be handed over to you. With the help of evil people, you put Jesus to death. You nailed him to the cross, but God raised him from the, get, from the dead. Now, people were really intrigued now. Not only can they understand what he's saying, but they're starting to remember exactly what happened to Jesus. And they're connecting dots. So Peter had something else to say that really started to move them. He said this, so be sure of this. All you people of Israel, you nailed Jesus to the cross, but God has made him both Lord and Messiah. So he's now explained exactly what's supposed to happen. And the people said, okay, we get it. We know we did something wrong, but we know he's more. So what do we do with this information? And that's when Peter said, Peter replied, all of you must turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then your sins will be forgiven. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. 3,000 people were saved that day. How awesome is that? Now, remember, right before this, Jesus had said, I want you to go into the world and tell 
everybody about me, tell everybody the truth and help save their lives. And the disciples were looking going, we're stuck. This seems like an impossible task. But our bottom line today is this. God gives you what you need to keep going. You see, the disciples didn't know exactly what they needed, but they knew they had this command to follow. But God was faithful to them. And he said, I'm going to give you everything you need to be successful in the task that I have given you. Now, maybe you have felt like you've walked into some impossible tasks and you don't know how you're going to get through them. But I know this, God is going to give you everything you need to accomplish what he has asked you to do. So it's so important to be looking for his Holy Spirit inside of you. And if you've accepted Jesus, that happened. So I would encourage you guys to rely on that every day. I want to take a, qu a second real quick and just pray for you guys and pray for us uh, as we move into what could be some fun activities for you if you haven't done them yet with your parents uh, or whatever is next in your day. God, thank you so much for giving us the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the opportunity we have to connect with you. And thank you for allowing us to be able to accomplish what it is that you are calling us to do. God, help us to remain faithful and know that you are in control and you've given us what we need. In everything we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm excited for next week. We will continue our Unstuck series, and I will see you then.